Hey, Kobe Tour. I'm Sir John, and I'm super happy you guys are at my home. Come on in and check out the vibes. Check it out. Uh, how do I define my personal style? I would say it's really eclectic. It's a little over all over the place in, this, in some sense, but I'm a maximalist. So, you know, even if I'm wearing t-shirt and jeans, I do love color. So I'm wearing a colorful sneaker or, or like an LA blue hat or something like that. I love color, I love prints. Um, and I love to mix them. So I'm not scared when it comes to layering, mixing and, and that kind of thing. So my favorite things happen to be, I'm like all over the place, I'm really eclectic. It just depends on the mood. I'm from Harlem, but I live in LA now, Hancock Park. So sometimes I love a tuxedo. As you see here, this is one of my boys, Rich Fresh made this for me for the Golden Globes about three years ago, and I love it. I think all men should wear tuxedos. It's my favorite thing to wear. The reason I love it is because, guess what? When you're wearing a tuxedo, it changes your posture, you sit up straight, people are actually respond to you differently, and um, the silhouette is really flattering to a male shape. So this is one of my th favorite things to wear. Wow, okay, so some of my favorite pieces in the home would happen to be, well, this painting behind you uh, by Riley Holloway. He's one of my favorite black artists. He's so incredible. He also uh, made this uh, portrait, a self-portrait of me. Um, I love his works. Um, I also love these uh, burl wood cabinets that you have behind you. So they're by a, a British um, a black designer called uh, Mindside. He does, does these for CB2. Um, and also this is pretty, Plush as well, I'm loving the marble. So um, this is kind of fun. I love this marble table I have from RH. So in every room, there's kind of something that reminds me of home. Uh, but I did uh, design this green sofa, I want to say about four years ago when I moved to LA. I love, um, I love a little, I love prints. So like, for example, like, take a look at this. I love this. This is uh, by Casablanca. This is a silk number, silk situation, and it has the pants to go with it. I haven't worn the pants as much as I've worn the shirt, but I really do love these prints. Uh, this is a French designer, and I really, really adore everything that they put out. So, one of my boys, Jason Bolden, shout out to Jason and Adir, uh, let me borrow this, and I love this. I don't know if Jason's gonna get it back, but green is my favorite color. So here we go with this. Okay, so who or what has had the most impact on my personal style? Um, I would say, I would say me, <laughs> and and just growing into the man that I am. You know, uh, you know, I've been in New York forever. I moved to New York City when I was 19, and I moved to Los Angeles when I was 35. But you know, when you become more mature and you become more anchored in yourself, I like to call this the temperature check. I talk to so many people about it, young people or all around the world, or you know, and also this business, the beauty industry. It doesn't really prop us up. It doesn't really always make us feel connected. So it's when I'm doing the temperature check and I'm checking in with myself and how I feel, and my mental wellness, um, just my wellness in general, I feel sexier. I feel more alive. I feel more anchored in the moment or where I need to be. Um, and then, you know, a t-shirt helps or jewelry helps. But it's really all about the inside. Beauty is a feeling, you know, like it, everything that I want to look like, I need to feel first. But you know, one, <laughs> I can't get through this without thinking about it, but my mom has impacted my style so much because my mother really taught me how to honor yourself. And so, and that's something that in my work, um, I hope that comes across as uh, something that I am also connecting with people to do as well.